this is a very interesting story. Joy News if one a reported story way. Two deputy chairpersons and other officials of the Electoral Commission were kicked out from a meeting of Parliament Special Budget Committee considering the 2022 budget estimates of the Commission. Dr. Bosman Asare and Samo Tete and their colleagues failed to justify the absence of the EC chairperson, Jane Mensah. According to members of the committee, there are critical constitutional matters, including the creation of a constituency for residents of SAO, which the chairperson must answer. Sorry. There is a committee looking into the budget. Uh, budget, you know, this year, about 2022. You have a chest of money, and you are just say, parliamentarians, there's a mumbra. Now, easy when a dano, omo baya, boss man, sorry, or no, or a full mental, or a FM. And I was a son called for Dinichi, and or do a bra, parliament invited the EC to come and ask questions, answer questions. Onu jemen sayo ano who be phobia or tigana because obi are attacking her because nobody has gone after her because people are looking at her say the right time will come and they'll go after her and she thinks she's over the world she's over the moon ono no onajiren say she can do more damage and nobody can attack her this woman is basically stepping on our constitution and the constitution makes it clear say obi a try say obe say constitutional obe tietia constitutional we need to take care of the person obanya answer for jemensa is an enemy of the state she cannot say say whatever happened during the elections you know may blame no nipa ate she does not deserve to live nipa eight died because of her ignorance because of her deliberate actions or take yeah so Every single death, no, we should blame it on Jane Mensa. And Jane Mensa is not supposed to live. She, yeah, me to me say waha. Now me bani bo to I just said there. O bani a kuna and kabesre. What but dam? So that lady Jane Mensa na we bleaching who say a ye kept cause up off, you know. We need to make sure she comes to parliament to answer questions. Any fool can just do things and walk because we have a president who is a tyrant. A foolish old tyrant who thinks he can suppress, kill, and win power. And who did he use? He used Jane Mensa. So at this point, Jane Mensa is the one to be blamed. She is the one to be held responsible. She needs to come to parliament. This question from Mubusan Christ is less. I hate this lady because she has caused the death of my fellow Ghanaian. Well, Kunipa, she is a murderer. This woman deliberately made sure said during the elections, you know, the process wasn't followed and people were shot. She has not even come out to admit. Why not the bangu? Why not the bangu? I him for chrome her. Peace council her. Now the next time when the young people pick guns, they shoot the EC chair in his in her head. Will you complain? I him for kasiya or two four said to two chrome her and kasiya do work also. You did not say anything. You don't see any problem with us. People are hurt. People will retaliate because you cannot kill some. Look at them as animals and try and preserve some. The souls are all the same. So this Jemensa is responsible for every single thing that happened during the elections. So some see, the person we hold responsible is the king of the land. Because a year credit bar or two for say to two energy. It is a semi easy. Not through the easiest conduct, no, ni pew. Now you're afraid you're meant to say, make a side. Boss man, sorry, or you're full mental, foolish man. Or no, you're not able to Why is the EC failing? The EC boss still trying to avoid questions. Why? You're Jimmy Tra. Now, I'm going Jimmy Sam. Wait, wait. Eh, 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 Cote d'Ivoire. I'm a coon. Sir Jimmy Sam, I want to be in Gambia. I'm a coon. Sir Jimmy Sam, I'm a coon. Sir Jimmy Sam, I'm a coon. Sir Jimmy Sam, I'm a coon. They will use suicide bomber to kill you. Because we'll be so bad. Can you do this foolishness in Nigeria? They will send somebody specifically to come to the EC and blow it up. Yes. 
koto de ne bodwe mmoa ye mbo obatuo ye mbo ukunutuo inti kevin de de oka na nye ojimi na nka ukunu ye de tuo fa ne trim anka betena ka ye mse kevin de oka na nye so she is responsible for every nonsense and she needs to pay and people have not forgotten hey, today or tomorrow or five years she will pay and she might pay it in a way she will never survive it and what hurts me is we have a whole supreme court a whole supreme court has turned into some macaranta with all due respect i don't have a problem with macaranta but it has turned into something like some 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 ignorant club today we sit in ghana we go all the way to the uk now you are a black book now you are going to elections are we foolish people you are going to be able to answer you are going to be able to judge your elections you are going to be so who are we we don't even know ourselves we don't even know who we are we are foolish people you are going to answer you are going to be able to point to be able to be able to be Yet you fear now, some of see young co ingress in coffer book, bra black book, betray the end. Now, man for chess can't you to Romo Bojaji's trim to no muku easy, no muku ya, over co England and coffer black book, I'll be catch Romo's own abotre. Their foolishness is too much. This president, Jane Mensa, they have set the pace for bad people to operate in 2024. I'm telling you, Messi, you people think Ghanaians are foolish. Me say Jane Mensah na mo protecting or no? She needs to come to Parliament still. Oh. She needs to be on national television. We all need to see her face. We need to ask her questions because we know that the Supreme Court to protect her. The most embarrassing moment in our history, in our judicial history, is what happened in the Supreme Court, and it is under the leadership of my Chief Justice Enini Abua. He has become the joker of the century. People are laughing at him. Aden, who is Jane Mensah? As we sit in Ghana today, why in the re election? No? The president himself working at that illegitimate president, you know, he cannot confidently speak, say, I won the election with this. He can't. Oh, yeah, he, he stole the elections. Every single individual in Ghana knows John Jermaine Mahama won the elections. Straight up. John Mahama and the NDC won the elections straight up. A Kufuadu knows. Ukuni Paja power. Now, when you saw Bawe, Bun Samway, her life is it better than anybody in Ghana? Wait, wait. Or to the extent why I said do you wait? Her life is not better than anybody. Her kids' lives they are not better than anybody. She is not better. But the issue is say you're selective about who to speak to. Niam niya obi to say bossman. Me say bossman. The attack will come to you very soon because why don't want Jimmy Jimmy? You are protecting criminality. When the people start, they pick machetes. They will not come after you. They will come after your wife. They will come after your kids. Then you learn sense. See yourself. Obi ba dia eh normal me boa. Obi ba na yung kunin ton chene. Nothing na easy. Cause here they easy for we can't be blamed. Now obi so chow baso se kain or chow yere so se kain or three pump action or boy yiri mutu yiri mutua. Obi ba we need to fix the system. System. Yes, me see. From 2022, June, July, Mobetin Sem. Me say, and find ways to shut me down. You need to invest a lot to shut me down because shutting me down is not easy. You need to spend a lot of money to shut me down because shutting me down is not easy like that. Me say, 2022, June, July. Me say, you be end your career, you be just to my abundant for a befako. Because we cannot sit again and 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 listen to madness. The men said, "I want to be so easy, boss." Me say, "Only the only one in what is waiting for her." Oh, when I saw your phone, did we see? So your phone now been about to move to police. The phone up did we see? No, oh man, about to move to. We are here. You see, the foolishness is too much. So this woman today, she's above everything. When Charlotte Osei was the EC boss, the scrutiny, the questioning. A whole chief justice connived with the president to make sure say, Charlotte Osei was kicked out of office. The whole president and then the chief justice then, Ayesu Sufa Yekufu, they connived and made sure Charlotte Osei was kicked out. Why? EC was audited every single four or five months, every time. Charlotte Osei is sleeping with John Mahama. 
Charlotte say NDC ni Charlotte say Afeska you go go there investigate her. And yet auditor general be there. Everybody was going to investigate her. police. But bosom we are in basa we are. We usually will say upon Chibano, Edgina Ho, she's over everybody. She's on top of everybody. We cannot scrutinize her. Who the hell is this bitch? Where are you hiding? Is she above the law? Where were you so used to say, a man can see Banchi way? Who the hell is she? Metini Dim Kanama Kuma Ba, because this woman is a devil's incarnate. Why is she avoiding accountability? Mibusa Auditor General, why are you not auditing the Electoral Commission? That Auditor General now, where you soon was a Joss or not to one. Sign new Auditor General now, where you soon was a Joss or not. Mumbusa said, why is he not bringing out, why auditing the Electoral Commission? What kind of foolish country are we building here? And you expect everybody to be quiet. You expect everybody to respect. I wasn't trained like that. Me sam kwasi asam no mensu soso. You want me to be quiet? Abra obi em dim rano so. Obi de man in dim rano so. But obi dim rano so. Kevin de ensana wa kanasu so. But kwasi am penye be action tini gane ni wu. And kame jimi. So it is important. J Mensa needs to come in. The Auditor General needs to let us know what happened. Sika omo se no. This woman works in Ghana freely, foolishly. Ni esari a taxi si tiyane ka. Foolishness. If she says she's not guilty of anything, she's not done any wrong, why is she not opening up? Why is she not opening up? Supreme Court was on the box. We are about to wake in TV. So, we are about to show that Elizabeth Amankwa, can't you see the country is going down the drain because of this lady? Because of this thing. Ushani Yama, I see Yini Yamunsuno, and yet Nabodium. And on an I'm gonna know Jimmy no one or say Bibiana, and the Munya would throw Jemen said a bon some way many pew, much to us or son or so. Miss a crobia one come up bontimu to. But I'll get Jimmy some way. Oh, 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 Nijay. You're cool to actually be a big cry at the Eddie Petabu crazy or so. But it is not late. We will still follow up. The auditor general should come up out and tell us. Auditing or auditing easy. Why is the easy not audited? I don't know about auditing easy. Why don't they want to audit easy? Auditor general, why the names are just no? Mumbusan say I don't know about auditing easy. In some phone you auditing Ghana, where the Omo Adio, where the any of the Jimmy and the Pakitwebi, Eddie so, and almost say Krono. Hey, where the Omo Adio? Now me Omo Adio na Jimmy Obu say Jimmy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Ebi the Embrani ni Omudi, Ebi Oha Embrani ni Omundi. Eh? I didn't quite see a crono. Eh? I didn't quite see a crony at Timusano. Jemen San Chenobia. Jemen San Cotrano Womom Dio, which you know, Oman Chenobia about Gano. Gana Ninja Jemen Sadia. She needs to also feel that heat. Messi doesn't matter one day. One day, one day, monkey will go market. You know, come back home. One day, soja funded over call Umbasi. Foolish things. And I'm also so Ghana. Shabibi. Under the, the previous vendor, STL, we were buying one verification device for $917 a piece. So these are, this is what the competition and the open process has produced. It has ensured prudence in the use of the public purse. We are aware that many people, there are lots of lies going on about the cost of the procurement. You hear some people saying commission, the commission is spending $150 million to procure kits. Other times they say we are spending $300 million to procure kits. I did the calculations when I was coming, and at the right time, the documents will be produced. For the kits that we are buying today, we are spending, for all the kits, both verification and uh, registration kits, we are spending $54 million for the kits. For the data center, we are spending $6 million, and for the software, we are spending $4 million. So for the whole system, the commission is spending some $64 million. And if you look at this, this is the cost of refurbishing, which would have taken us just past registration for the district level election of 2019. We were going to pay $56 million. Here we are building a robust system that will last the commission some 10 years and beyond. Registers are usually have been used in the past for eight years. So the argument that you cannot change it before 10 years is, is also flawed. And again, that is not to say that, oh, because it's been changed every eight years, we also have come in, we want to change it. No. 
It is just to ensure the credibility, to introduce the function of facial recognition. We recognize that, in, in particularly the rural areas, the rural parts of Ghana, you find that people who are used to manual and communal labor may have lost the use of their fingerprints. And you, you know, the whole essence, we should, we, should, we should lay aside the biometric if we cannot implement it to the letter. And therefore, the whole essence is to introduce the facial feature so that if you go and your fingerprints you know, cannot be verified or you have lost the use of your fingerprints, at least you can be verified using your facial features. And so there's some credibility. And I think that it is in the interest of the parties. They should be happy that nobody should be able to manipulate the system. And that's basically what we are trying to do, to introduce some, and tighten the system, tighten the screws, and introduce some credibility. We're in I'm Ghana. No accountability. No accountability. We're in Jimmy and I'm Ghana. And I'm so just for Jimmy for me to do it. What do you need to do Jimmy? Because this woman is a problem we have in Ghana today. Yes. And people are saying, you are inciting. Oh, yes. You will incite people against Jay Mensah. Because Jay Mensah deliberately acted in a way to let Ghanaians die. And the actions, and you Ghana for. Yes. It is. Why are you inciting people against Jay Mensah? Jay Mensah or Chen Wain? Or Chen Wain? Who is, who is she better than? Let her avail herself. Now, I'm going to what actually happened. I'm going to tell parliament. Now I see that me to me wait. Then I was just reading comments to me on the on the WhatsApp. Some people are so I'm a friend of so big deal. When I say the Supreme Court, Macaranta, I could be a WhatsApp. Kevin Taylor using Macaranta is unfortunate for Jimmy Conwa. What did I say after saying Macaranta? The beer and the hype, more hype be What did I say when I said Macaranta? For Jimmy Free platform, no so. Those people listening to me know. I apologize and I said. It is just a mistake. For Jimmy Konoa, where now to be there? Let's move on. Kevin Taylor, it's unfortunate to use Macaranta. Macaranta, you change your love for. One in your start here. All right, the next one is this. See this. No textbook.